to a new weekly vlog. It's been a minute since I filmed one of these and a couple of you commented that you missed like my chatty vlog video so I thought I'd pick up the camera and vlog this week. So today it's beautiful and sunny. It's very very warm today. I thought the weather is like one minute it's really rainy. Then it's sunny but I'm pleased to see the sunshine. My mood has been so much better this week. I've been really productive. I just feel like when it's like dull, cloudy, rainy, I just want to hibernate and get ready for autumn but I'm so glad the sun is back out so it feels a bit more like summer again. So I'm off to Birmingham today. I'm going to an event with Clinique. It's in the Ivy in Birmingham so it's nice to see that brands are starting to do events up this way a bit now. Of course I'm always travelling to London probably like once a week or so but it's just nice to have something a bit more local to me. So I'll quickly show my outfit for the day. Excuse the rail of chaos behind me but I'm wearing this beautiful dress which is from Rehoa. So I'm not sure if my discount code is still going to be valid so I'm trying to find the pocket. There we go. Um, but I will link it down below if you're on the screen for you just in case because I love how classy this dress looks. Just perfect for a nice sunny day. Especially like for a city dress. I just paired it with my June sandals. I'm going to style it with my brown polling bag. This is the I think it's Cypress style, I think it's cool, but of course I'll link it down below for you. It's a really nice size, but I really love like black and tan together. I'm also wearing these earrings. They're from Amazon Fashion. I wore them loads on our cruise. I had some people ask me where they're from, but they're only £15 from Amazon, so a really good dupe for the potato ones. So yeah, I'm going to go and run and catch my train now. I feel like I might apply just a bit of SPF on my shoulders because it's super warm outside. So I don't want to be getting any cine tan marks, but I'm just loving the neckline of this dress. got back home after a lovely lunch with Clinique. It was so nice and refreshing to go to an event in Birmingham and I didn't realise there were so many Birmingham creators. I feel like Birmingham really gets missed. I feel like everything is always in London or it's either London or Manchester and Birmingham's in the middle and honestly I couldn't believe there was that many other creators there. So we're going to do like a little like meet up and do like a little Instagram group chat because it was just so nice and I feel like I'm lucky enough to be able to go to London obviously I did this full time but there were so many creators there that still sort of worked full time as well as doing it on the side and they want to try and get out there and go to events and it's hard for them not to go and travel like I totally get it like when I first started I'd sort of either book days off work like use holiday and try and go straight after work I'd be crazy and jump straight on a train to London for an evening event and then come back late at night so yeah it's just honestly so refreshing to see brands doing stuff in Birmingham so I'm hoping that other brands do start to do this as well so well done Clinique for that so I thought I'd quickly show you the goodies this bag is honestly so heavy there's so much in here so the event today was to celebrate their summer like hero products so it was for their golden golden hour glow I think it was for yeah golden hour glow so to celebrate their summer essential products and they've kindly put in some products in here. They also colour match me as well to this foundation, which is the even better clinical serum foundation. So I love like foundations which are skincare. So it has vitamin C in it, it has hyaluronic acid, like all my favourite like go-to ingredients. So I got colour matched for that too. I think it was the ivory shade. So they're going to be sending that out to me. But there's honestly so much in this bag. I thought I'd just quickly run through and show you what I've got. Um, first is the Moisture Surge. This is like, yeah, one of my favourite products. It's amazing. I love this in the eye cream. It's just such a hydrating and refreshing but not heavy cream. So love that. There's also this fragrance here. I didn't realise that Clinique dig fragrances. This is their High Impact Full Volume Mascara. 
I've also got the Pore Define Primer, which is really nice. I tried a sample of that on my hand and it's a very like dewy primer. And there's some makeup bits in here, which I'm very excited about. So we've got some of their chubby sticks. I've seen these all over TikTok. So I'm definitely gonna try these out. I've got the highlighter one. I've also got the Cheek Color Balm in the shade, this is And Up Apple. And then there's also the contour one. So I just love quick, easy, yeah, makeup and stuff like this is just, yeah, a breeze. Then there's these two products. So these have been trending on TikTok like ridiculously. You know when you have those beauty TikTok, like everything sells out. I feel like last year it was the Phantom Lip Balms by Hourglass Cosmetics. And this year, recently I've seen so much activation, just so many people using this organically, which I think that's why it's done so well. Um, and it's the Black Honey. So there's the Clinique Pop Blush, which is the lip gloss, but then there's the Almost Lipstick in the Black Honey. So let me just quickly open the shade. I've just seen this, yeah, all over TikTok and I was trying to get it, but unfortunately I just couldn't get my hands on it. So this is the balm. You may have seen it now that I'm showing you, but looking forward to trying that out because I've been after it for ages. It's meant to be like, yeah, one of those products you can pop on your lips and yeah, I've seen so many good videos and reviews. So that's all the bits from Clinique. I've also been doing a new skincare routine. So I went for a hydrofacial um, before the cruise. So I'd say probably back from the cruise about two weeks, about three weeks ago, I went on this um, hydrofacial and my skin concern at the moment is my pigmentation. So I'll pop a little picture on the right hand side because I feel like this camera doesn't really show and I've got like a full face of makeup on or sort of like medium coverage makeup on. And I had so many nice compliments on my skin today because I've been doing this new routine which I'll show you at some point in this video. Um, and yeah, I just wanna try and see, this is, I've been using it for about 10 days now and I've noticed a difference. So I'm gonna stick with it. But after having my skin all scanned and everything, um, my issue is skin pigmentation. So I've always had freckles like all the time and I feel like my pigmentation is from stupid sun damage in my 20s like I feel like late teens early 20s I feel like there wasn't enough like we all spoke about this event today there's so much awareness of how important SPF is like now I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen the video on TikTok where um it's basically it shows people that don't wear skin um SPF there's a truck driver and like half of his face is like really really sun damaged from the obviously driving on the window and going through the glass like all these things is actually scary how much the sun damage damages your skin and going underneath the UV like I know I have got some dark spots you'll see them better on the picture but like my problem areas are here I've got a really bad dark spot here I've got one under my eye here which is from mirrored sunglasses um and then obviously in my 20s I was stupid I never used to really wear SPF um I used to go on the sunbeds like with no SPF like I just feel like there's not enough awareness there wasn't enough awareness of it back then and yeah I feel like everyone like I'm 31 now and I feel like everyone sort of that like 10 years ago was sort of similar to me. Like a lot of my best friends did the sunbeds, like that whole generation did do that. Sorry, Hugo's just barking. And I've had like, I've always been bothered about my skin pigmentation, but I feel like it's been really heightened because of the job that I do. So not that I ever sort of listen to what people say to me. Um, I have quite a thick skin when it comes to this job, but um, especially it's more on TikTok. So I had a couple of videos go viral on TikTok from when me and Russ went on the cruise. It was like a travel day. And I posted a video and I had like no makeup on. Obviously I'm not gonna fly with makeup on. And obviously it had been sunny. I still wear my SPF, but my skin like freckles come out really easily. And I have naturally got freckles. And the dermatologist said to me that you're not born with freckles. Freckles are a result of sensitive skin and sun damage. So obviously on my face is plastic in freckles and it's just, it's all been heightened for me because I had someone comment on that video and say that like oh, I hope you and your son have a really nice holiday and I was like that's my husband and yeah and I had someone comment on a video before um I feel like it was my for my 30th birthday last year in New York and someone commented like oh 30 you look like you're 40 and I feel like as a woman like age we always want to look our youngest best selves and I feel like social media really heightens stuff and when you have an insecurity already um yeah it's really really affected my self-confidence um yeah, I don't want to get upset because it's not even they're not even worth it like I never ever listen to what people say to me on social media I just sort of block delete but it just sort of really hit 
hit a bit of a nerve, which it's like, yeah, it's just a bit, I had it with my nose as well. Obviously I had my nose filler done for my wedding day, which is what I've wanted done for years, literally years. And yeah, so I remember sharing, um, obviously before and after results of that on TikTok, I just, TikTok's just, I, I like the platform, but it's got a really nasty negative side to it. And I feel like there's not those as much control, like with Facebook and Instagram, I feel like when someone's trolling or whatnot, um, there's more things to do that can protect the creator. But I feel like TikTok is just, yeah, people are nasty on there. So I'm not sort of doing this because I feel like I need to because someone said that I look like Russ's mom. I mean, that's just stupid. Like I've been getting quite upset about it to Russ and I'm just like, what is people like, do I look, I look at myself in the mirror, no makeup on, like do I look, ugh, it's, it's, it's a, not a nice, I mean, I've got a thick skin and it's just, I feel like the pressure of the job that I do to look all put together and show up like all the time, it's, it's a lot. And I feel like people are soon to, I feel like you're looked at under a microscope. Um, you can never do anything right. That's why I'm always quite like, I feel like I haven't posted that much on my stories and yeah, it's really bothered me. So I want to focus on my pigmentation anyway. So doing this new routine is gonna sort of help to like minimize it i don't think it'll get rid of it completely because when i had my skin scanned with a dermatologist she said that my probably best option is to go on see how this stuff goes then potentially go on prescription retinol for my skin which i'll probably be on for a long time and then maybe look into some laser treatment so i have been looking at ipl and i've been looking at different laser treatments for my skin but i really want to do as much as i can with products first before i start doing stuff like that and doing chemical peels. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of an update of a skin journey and I feel like I got a little bit deep then, but yeah, I feel like sometimes that's why I love YouTube because I can just sit and natter and chat to you guys. So yeah, that is um, everything from today. Um, I've got some other bits going on. I'm in London this week, so I'm going to stories. So I'm looking forward to seeing some nice transitional autumn newness, but I will do a sort of get ready with me. I've got like a morning and nighttime routine, so I'll show you both of those at some point in this video. So yeah, there's me rambling on now. I'm gonna sort of crack on with some work and then do some dinner because we'll be home soon. Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay right here. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, you're crystal clear You don't disappear, baby, no So why would I, why would I unfollow you When you're the only thing on hollow me And why would I, why would I try to hide the truth
So I'm in London today and as you can see I swatted loads of nice autumnal transitional bits. I've just taken off my trench coat because it's so warm. But my t-shirt is another story. This is their like classic boxy t-shirt. I've had this now I think for a couple of years, but it always comes back out. And yeah, they've got it in stock now, and these jeans are also by them, but I think this wash is sold out. But I've popped on my Birkenstock Boston today because they're so comfortable. But walking around the city and I've just slicked my hair back into a bun and yeah I'm looking forward to trying on these bits as you can see lots of stripes as always by me so yeah let me try the bits on for you so first is this striped boxy jumper it's honestly so soft it's a really nice lightweight I feel like between like a sweatshirt and a jumper if that makes sense the material is honestly so soft on my skin I love the raw hem as well on the bottom of the sleeves and it's also the same as well on here but I'm not sure if you can see the texture of it on the camera but this is the size small which I think is fine because I feel like if I sized up to the medium it would look probably a bit too big here um, but I'm actually missing I've got an old striped jumper like more of a thicker one from Zara from ages ago but the quality isn't that great so I feel like I might just replace that with this one because the quality of this is unreal I've also picked up the other version of it which I'll try on in a second but yeah super happy with how the size small fits in this then here is the next jumper again I've gone for stripes but I love the sleeves with the stripe um, it's more of like a rib sleeve it's also got this on the hem this is the size small as well and I also love the neckline on this I feel like this goes perfectly with what I'm wearing now to the pair of jeans, my Birkenstocks. It's a colour that will honestly go with everything. I do have a similar jumper to this, which is more, I'd say a bit darker, but it's more of like a mohair fluffy one. So this is a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, I'm honestly just so excited for jumpers. Now you guys know I love a little waistcoat. I'm not wearing the like white style bra for this, so it's sitting a bit funny on my chest but I love the tone of grey I feel like last autumn winter I wore so much grey like I just yeah I absolutely loved it so I was thinking hmm do I get a little grey waistcoat I also really like it with these jeans too um this is the I think this is the size eight um so this is the 36 but love how it sits I'm going to try on the matching bottom now too then this is the full set on. The trousers literally fit amazing. They are the size 8. I love that they have belt loops on and I actually need a pair of grey trousers like this in my wardrobe. I don't have any that are this sort of dark shade but look how perfect the length are as well. I love this as a little set. Honestly, you can't beat a waistcoat. So this is the other colourway of the jumper. And yeah, amazing. I absolutely love it. It looks so nice. I just, I love striped jumpers. I feel like this is the start of more stripes in my wardrobe. Um, but these are the trousers. So these are more of like a peg leg. I thought I'd try them on, but I feel like a wider leg always suits me like better. Like a wider leg or a slight bit of flare. Um, it just sort of balances out like my top half if that makes sense um, but these are super nice the jumper is a size small and then the trousers are a size 34 as well
Good morning. So I've just got up and had a shower and washed my hair. It needed washing so bad, but I'm gonna do my morning skincare sharing some I got them my new little like routine. So I have quite a few different products. I've got different ones that I add in that were set to me um, for the evening time. So I'll sort of, what I'll do in the description box, I'll do it like AM and PM, and then write the extra products that I add. It's only a couple of extra ones and like different ones, and some products I don't use every single day. So just to start with, I always use my gentle cleanser. I'm fine to keep using this. This is the Elemis Clay Cleanser. Super gentle on my skin, I use this every single morning. Um, and then I, in the evening time, I use a different cleanser. So I still remove my makeup with my Elemis like cleansing balms and micellar water. But for the evening, I then go in with this. This is the Glycolic um, Renewal Cleanser Gel by Skin SkinCeuticals. Um, it's a brightening cleanser um, with glycolic and phytic acids that refines the sin and it's 8% glycolic. So you do feel like a bit of a sting when you use that. Um, only slightly, I feel like it's a bit of a tingle. So I use that then after I've removed my makeup and everything. So I use that at night time. Let me just rinse this off. Right, that's all rinse off. I have had like a bit of like a purge. I feel like when you change up your skincare routine, you sort of, like when you try different products and I'm using more, like certain ingredients I've never used before on my skin. So I have had a bit of a purge, to be honest. The spots that I've had here come off on my jawline are just hormonal. Like every time in the month I get the same, like two or three spots that come back and they're honestly so sore. I had like a massive one on my cheek here and then one smack bang in the middle there. So I've just been like exfoliating, but they've pretty much nearly gone now. So for the toner, I use this one by Ren morning and nighttime. I've used this for literally years. It's such a good toner, but then I use this one one twice a week by Skin SkinCeuticals. So this is the Blemish and Age Toner. Um, you can use this every single day, morning and night, but it's very strong. So I was advised just to use it two to three times a week. I sort of do it like every other day or every other couple of days, but I definitely do feel a tingle when I use this. I only use this at night time and then I use this in the morning. Super gentle on my skin. I just use one of my face halos. I don't like using um, like disposable cotton pads and I've literally got loads of these so I literally just pop this all on my face and then I go in with this I only use this in the morning it's the skin SkinCeuticals Florentin CF it's a high performance broad action antioxidant treatment um there's like different acids on here but this is like a prevention so this helps um with like preventing my pigmentation from coming out even more and it's also a vitamin c as well so i literally just place like four to five drops in my hands mix it all in and apply to my face i just avoid my eye area i can't think what this smells like i feel like it smells like a bit like medicine <laughs> that's the only way i can describe it um but a lot of these products are like really like formulated for um, like anti-aging, um, hyperpigmentation. Um, so this is like the prevent. And then I also have the eye serum for this. So this is the Aox Eye Gel, which is the same thing. So I applied this on next. It's sort of like a prevention like serum for your eyes. Um, I literally just apply a bit on my fingers here. Sorry, the light looks really bright. The sun is shining through here. But I just apply this under my eyelids um, and my brow bone, but don't put this on your eyelids because it does say on the packet not to do it on there. So I apply that there. So that's the same like prevention thing for my skin. And this is just like for my eye area. And then I go in with a couple of serums. So first I'll use this. This is the Phyto A Plus, and this is the correction. So it's a daily corrective moisturizer to enhance skin tone. So I apply this first, and then I go in with this next. I use both of these morning and night time. This is the SkinCeuticals Metacell Renewal B3. It's an emulsion to correct early symptoms of photoaging for a reclarified tone and retightened surface. Like I've said, I do do have some like pigmentation and sun damage on my skin which of course has caused like early aging symptoms so hopefully these products can help like pull that sort of back um this is really really lovely so you only need like a pea size amount with these products 
Um, so I apply this one and then I go in with the Metacell, which I use both of these morning and night time. And they're really refreshing too. Like this is more of like a gel texture. Um, super light on the skin. Um, not too heavy at all. I really hate products that are super heavy on my skin. And I sort of just like running this down my neck. And then I'll go in now with a moisturiser moisturiser for under my eyes and a SPF. SPF is the most important ingredient. Honestly, guys, I've, I've always used like SPF probably a uh, lot like, consistently, probably for the last like, I don't know, five, five years. Like I have been quite thinking with my SPF, but obviously if there's early signs of damage there, then it's not gonna get rid of that. It's just gonna prevent. So if you're focusing on your skin and pigmentation, then SPF literally every single day, whether you're inside as well in the winter, it's a clay of the day, just always wear your SPF. So on the night time, I've been using this. This is the Nip and Fab Retinal Fix Eye Treatment. So I use that in between like those bits. And then I will lock in everything with this. This is the Retinal 24 by Olay. I really wanted to look into like a retinal moisturizer and I haven't, I probably should have used retinol a lot more like earlier on. So I'm 31 now, so I feel like it's never too like early to start retinol. And this is like a really good gentle one for beginners. I've seen it all over TikTok. Loads of like dermatologists recommending it if you want to start retinol. Also like different tips on how to apply it. Like say if you are applying a serum that's like a pure retinol, you can apply your moisturizer and then put your retinol on another moisturizer to have a sort of like retinol sandwich. But they do say sometimes put your retinol on but then don't apply your moisturizer for about 15, 20 minutes. But if you are like super sensitive, then just sort of like do like a layer. So there's honestly so many good videos on TikTok from dermatologists all about like skincare. I've been really intrigued in watching them. Um, so yeah, that's what I add in the night time. And then now I'm just gonna finish off with these. So I'm gonna use this. These are both from Beauty Pie. I find as well, like using all these products has made my makeup sit so much better on my skin. So I feel like in the morning, I was literally just cleansing my face using like whatever serum. Like honestly, I have so much skincare. Um, so I don't think I was actually like using the, not the right skincare, but like what I want for my skin, not what I want to achieve. I really need to focus on like sticking to a routine. Like obviously doing the job that I do, I get sent lots of different skincare. I'm always like trying different bits and opening different bits. I'm not being consistent. So hopefully by being consistent with this, I will hopefully achieve some good results. So I'm just gonna apply this on my eyes now. This is the Triple Hyaluronic Acid Elastic Lifting Eye Serum by Beauty Pie. I absolutely love this. It's super lightweight and refreshing on the eyes. It's fine to use as well over that other one that is more of a gel, like a special serum for my eyes and I pop this all over my eyelids. Then there's a triple hyaluronic acid deep moisture miracle cream, which is a plumping ideal lift and that big long word there, but obviously. I love Beauty Pie products. I do have a membership with them. And yeah, like this is honestly, the consistency is so nice, super refreshing. Just a really nice, gentle, moisturizer which gives you lots of moisturization and hydration without feeling like heavy on your skin and as well like applying all these products i don't get any um like rolling you know when you put on too much skincare or you apply them all like too close together and you don't let them all soak in you get like rolling like bits of like just excess skincare so i make sure i run this all down my neck but i sort of then let this sit in um probably for like i'll do all this have my breakfast and then i won't apply my spf till i start getting ready and doing my makeup so i like to let this all soak in then i have these two spfs which are both from a skin suitcles this is the 31 and then this is the 50 but this is their mineral radiance uv defense sunscreen which has a tint in it so it's a tinted fluid so it looks so nice when you're having a no makeup day just evens out your skin tone so i've been sort of switching between these two so i'm gonna pop this one on because i feel like i just need a little bit of something um, I thought it'd be nice to show you the tint as well. It's honestly so lightweight, really evens out my skin tone and you only need a bit as well. It really does go a long way. I always make sure that I apply it to my eyelids too. Um, I sort of do one side of my face at a time and then I will do my forehead, but it honestly, 
the consistency is super nice and as you can see as well this is just like my skin has just like soaked it up um but it's just nice having a spf which is a tint so i love using like bb creams and stuff and i think my mistake was before was that i was never applying an spf layer because most of my makeup had spf in and it's honestly not enough um it really isn't so i always use moisturizers which have like i've used the elemis um marine cream with spf 30 in for years i've always used that um, but I feel like I probably needed to use something a bit stronger as well. So I think having the tinted moisturiser um, works really well. So yeah, that is everything on my skin. I've also been applying this um, lip balm. I bought it for me on holiday, so I thought I might as well use it up because I'm not going to use it else. So this is the Sunbum Factor 30 because when I had my um, face scanned, um, I've got like dark freckles like, around on my lips here. Um, but my lips were so dark um, underneath the UV so I think my lips were look like quite sun damaged and now I'm always a bit paranoid about my lips and yeah when I looked under the UV light at my lips they looked really dark and you could really see the pigmentation and the freckles around there so yeah I've just washed my hair and everything now skincare's all done and I thought I'd show you what I picked up from stories so it was so nice to be back in London and just like shopping for like just transitional autumn pieces like they had so much beautiful things in stories so i was very tempted to get the like i honestly wanted loads like i literally could have got loads um oh crap and um, this <laughs> they folded these up in paper for me and i've just ripped them um but yeah so i ended up going with just the knitwear so he kindly wrapped them all up for me so of course i'm sure you guys can guess which jumpers that i went for so the first one was this beautiful striped one He's folded these so nicely and they got these in a so small and they do them in this colour. I also picked up the cream colourway as well. I just think they're a really nice in-between jumper. That's what I said too when I was buying them. It's like these jumpers have been so popular because they're sort of like in between like a sweatshirt, but they're also knitwear. And they'll be great as well to wear underneath like blazers and coats. Um, when it's sort of like not that cold so a lot of my other striped knitwear are like I do have another one from stories which is this stripe but it's like a heavier knit so it's really nice now that I've got this one but they also had this in the beige colour I spotted it on the way out so I'm going to order that one online because the guy said to me at the till as well he was like oh have you seen the beige one and I was like no and I walked past it I think I did film a little clip of it but I will link it down below for you but yeah amazing quality you guys know how much I love stories and then I picked up this striped jumper as well because it's absolutely beautiful and I really love the sort of greyish and black and the knit of it and yeah, really, really lovely. So I've got all of those in a size small. I didn't end up getting the grey waistcoat. I felt like I sort of like tried it on without a bra. I thought it was my bra that wasn't like making it sit right but I just think the way the... The way it fitted me underneath my arms just wasn't like sitting right. So yeah, I'm sort of putting I left the trousers though. So I have sort of like saved them in my basket online on stories. So yeah, I feel like I might still order the trousers. Um, but yeah, I also went into H&M and picked up this striped shirt, which is so nice. I tried it on in two different colours, um, not two different colours, two different sizes because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to have it more like oversized but it is a oversized fit so I ended up sticking with the size small and this was only 19.99 I did have some H&M members points to use as well so I think I got it for like I don't know 12 pound I could use three um I could use two of my three pound vouchers which is of course amazing if you're a club member um, so yeah, those are what I picked up. I also have made some like different edits on my LTK. I have mentioned my LTK profile quite a lot to you guys before, but I do sort of like these weekly edits, like what your favourites are from each week for my LTK, whether it's from YouTube, my Instagram. So I'll link a sort of example on the screen here because they do really well. So I thought I'd share them here too. I also like to do like a little dupe list as well. So I'll link those two for you. And I've then done some H&M top picks as well. So I do love making these little weekly edits sort of over on my Instagram. I usually share them on a weekend and I save them to a story highlight, but they're all on my LTK. But I also wanted to mention, I've done a massive closet sale. Um, you would have seen on my Instagram yesterday. 
Um, I was working with Vinted, which is, oh my God, is it raining? It's right, I've literally just put my bed sheets on the, oh my God, it is as well, two seconds. <laughs> my God, I am so done with this crappy weather. I've not been able to do like any washing all week. Um, when I work from home, I try and just get like washing on the line and the weather's just been so bad. Today's like the first day, it's actually sunny and now it's like sunny, clear sky and it's raining. Like what the hell, sorry, I'm so <laughs> out of breath from running and getting the washing in. But yeah, what I was saying was, so many I get my breath back. <laughs> yeah, so I've done a massive sale on a Vinted. I'm working with them over on Instagram, which is amazing. You guys know I've used Vinted for ages. I thought I'd do a big closet clear out because I still haven't got my wardrobes yet. So I'll quickly just show you the current situation of where all my clothes are. I've done like a massive declutter ready for the autumn winter season. I'm ordering my wardrobes this week. So there will be some more like home updates. I feel like I haven't done as many home updates so obviously we we're busy with the cruise and whatnot last month and yeah we're sort of like still stuck settling into the house we've been here six months now but i've sort of been like holding off buying certain things um with it being the summer and that so yeah i'm ready to start like getting some like autumn like getting cozy and stuff so i've done a mega gutter i also have some like homeware on there as well like some throws and stuff so this stuff has all been some stuff has been purchased some stuff hasn't so i'll link my vintage profile below for you in the description box i'm i'm hoping there's still some stuff left for you because it's gone crazy it literally went crazy um i did a huge huge gutter i had about I think about 150 items, like a lot of summer stuff, that earns pieces that I just don't use anymore and I'm not wearing. So I'd rather someone else have it as like second hand and get a second life out of it instead of it just taking up space. And yeah, it's just sad that it's not being worn. And then this is still my current wardrobe situation. So this has been rail since we moved in. This is the guest room. Um, I did have a mega sort and a tidy in here. We're ordering a like sofa bed for that back wall and my wardrobes, but I've had a proper gut through, sorted like all my shoes is a bag of stuff that needs to go, like clothes that are like really old and tatty like shoes and whatnot so I've got all my coats there blazers I've really like reduced a lot of things down and then the other side I've got bags this is what I've been dealing with the last six months it's actually driving me crazy my mum's also given me some shoes of hers to pop on her vintage um so yeah I've got all my like basics and everything all in here so I just can't wait to have everything back in drawers in shelves all my bags and stuff are in here like some of my shoes haven't been stored properly and they've got a bit damaged so yeah I was ready for my new wardrobe space now Good afternoon. So today is a super exciting day. I feel like it's been a day that's been a long time coming. So I've not had my own car for, I'd say nearly four years now. So when I left my old full-time job, um, obviously before I used to drive to Birmingham every single day, me and Russ both had our own car. But as soon as I went like self-employed, I was working from home, I wasn't using my car that much. So I thought I'm just gonna, we ended up trading two of our cars in and getting like a different style Audi. This was like literally pre-COVID. So I've had no car since pre-COVID, which has been, I swear it's nearly, it's gotta be three, four years now with no car and car sharing has just, it's been a nightmare. Where we used to live before, I was able to like go and walk to the train station and whatnot, but where we are now, I can't do that. So I'm physically like stuck in the house and then Russ has a new job now. So he's out like even longer than what he was before. So I definitely need to get a car. So I'm about to go and pick it up. I could honestly, it doesn't feel real yet. I've been for a couple of desk drives. I absolutely love it. It's been my dream car for so long. I've had it on like, my vision board for literally ages. It's always been, like I feel like a little clue as well. Our wedding car was my dad's old car and we had like an old, an old car on the pictures. So that might give a little clue of what style car I'm going for. But yeah, I'm honestly so excited. I've just thrown on my Anim Bing hoodie. I've literally just slicked my hair. Just literally thrown it up in a ponytail. I didn't want to slick it completely back but I'm just wearing my animing hoodie I'm gonna pop on a trench coat take my brolly um because the weather is just so miserable and I'm just wearing my comfy Adenona leggings so yeah I'm honestly so excited I just yeah I can't wait to go and pick it up it doesn't feel real I need to pinch myself mm -hmm. 